be a prize or something for the first person that shows up on our feed. <laughs> really, I mean, that would be kind of kind of fun. It's like a race, right? But a race that I could actually participate in because I'm not so good at actually. We've got. I could walk a race, but not run. April Chris of Foley so far. Oh my gosh, April, how are you doing? Linda oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, Miss Linda, how are you doing? Um, she is our ultimate neck stacker, like necklace stacking queen. Um, anyway, I hope everybody's having a really great time. It's been really fun because um, I've been going through, and I have to tell you ladies, like in Bali, I have two design studios always set up. So I have here and I have there. I've always had a huge room of everything I've ever designed to make sure that I'm doing different and something new, but I always get inspired by what I used to do to really create newer things. So I always use that list that you ladies have said, I want this, this, this. So I've always done that too, because it's a process. Like it can, like I said, a year to three years for me to finally cultivate that. Like, yes, there it is. So it was always fun. Um, because getting to know you ladies more and designing to really what you want has been so fun. So these vault shows again, ladies, my creative juices are just going, but I have samples in Bali. I had samples here. We both like, so I'm talking to Kadek about, oh my gosh, please send me this one, this one, this one, because the ladies were going cuckoo about it. We sold our sample. Send me the other two that I've got in Bali. So you you might be able to see something that you'll have a second go around at it. Mm -hmm. So she's already shipping stuff to us. Um, so it it will be fun. Uh, mainly the gemstone because ladies, the silver is we already had two. Um, so it's just the gemstone pieces. So don't get too upset. You might see it come around one more time. Um, so. Yeah, we'll just, we'll, because I, I see the need and wanting to have other items to it. But man, do we have some pretty stuff today. Yeah, we've got some good stuff. So you can shop all of this vault product by going to the feature tab and then going, I'm sorry, to the category tab and pulling down the mint vault and you'll see all the product in order there. If you don't see something, it is likely because it has already sold. That's right. Yep. And so it's really easy because, um, you go to this, it's under the sort of socials and specials, right? Yep. And then this is the mint vault, which, oh my gosh, this holiday season, the mint, peppermint, like I, I just love that we're having a mint vault today. And Michelle just walked in with something. With a, with I, a sneaky with a, grin. With a sneaky grin. You are the <laughs> sneaky peak queen and um, <laughs> you are so funny. So you ladies, have a voice and night in your hand. I do. Guess what's landed? So we, I thought you might want to show oh a couple gosh. of pieces of the Michelle. red moissanite. Okay, she, ladies, the red moissanite. And do you know this is like, I, I love that this almost sometimes, like I feel like there's a, a flavor of a little orange undertone. Mm -hmm. Like a red orange. I mean, I'm like, it is just spectacular. It is so much more um, now it's set because I really like the bezels on these. I said clean the heck out of them. So I don't know whatever we did <clears throat> bezel setting at ladies, the stones really came to life. I'm talking like, wow. So anyway, so when are we shipping? There's because we were queuing it. So I already was part of that process of making sure everything's right. We were. So when are we shipping them now? Tomorrow. <gasps> so that we were trying so hard. So they so will hard. have them uh, most likely before Christmas, but it is, we did receive a partial shipment from Bali. So there is some more stragglers coming, but what we did receive is going out tomorrow. I know she was working so hard. But do you see that just a little bit? Oops, I really messed up with all the oil on my hands. Miss Barbara, you could uh, definitely mix this with red velvet zircon. Oh, oh yes. Anyway, our favorite ring ever. So like, oh my gosh, right? The love one another. Yes. Okay, so very, very cool. I love this bracelet though. Is this the one? It was so funny. Oh, yes, it was the six and a half. I like, I'm telling you, I want to keep that too. Yep. We have to fill the order. I know. <laughs> I know, we're holding on to it just in case 
you get like a size that wasn't yours, but how beautiful. I love mm-hmm. that we're trying to get this out for holiday for I know. everybody. I'm so excited. <laughs> so I went down and talked to Beth and she said her and Marva were and Athena were uh, working hard to get it all processed I'm, through. I'm and just like, okay. okay. So congratulations everybody that did do the pre-sale on that and right, especially the prices. Like, oh my gosh, the pre-sale price on those were crazy. Okay, well, we are going to get started with our vault show. So if you don't know what the vault show is all about, too, I do want to explain to you. These are my original samples that came in once we said, yes, this is it. So the stone is limited. We literally only have one piece of it. So it is something that you have to kind of grab kind of quickly. So if you are new, you might get frustrated with that going, what's going on? Um, You ladies that have known this process of it, um, but again, I've always got to have some goody, good stuff. So anyway, um, we will keep flowing it through. But first, we are going to go to the Star of David. And this was 100% a request. And Carol, I always remember you from the very first time that we became friends. Um, so Carol Klein was really like, you know, I, I, I need Star of David. I remember when I first came. So this was a collection that I think is really just really elaborate and gorgeous. Yep, we've got bracelet 2068, that's a six and a half, fitting from a six to a seven. We've got matching pendant 2069, matching ring 2070, and matching earring 2071. Okay, so um, it really, um, it, the reason I've not done a lot of Star Davids after that this one was so pretty, to be honest. How do you top it? I, and so for me to go do another one, I just was like, oh no, but I, I'm not sure if I can, I don't like to do something if I started like, where it was like so amazing from the, oops. From the get-go? Yeah, so that has been, I have designed a bunch more for you ladies that want the Star of David, but they're, they just have been ordinary. And I needed it extraordinary. to be just as extraordinary as this. So anyway, you can see that's a huge medallion. And the bracelet, who's the bracelet going to fit? Bracelet is a six and a half fitting from a six to a seven. Okay. So this one does have a kickback on it. Um, there is a little bit of malleability on that one too, you know, but definitely don't want to do it from any time from the hinge. But yeah, what a piece, right? Wow. Okay. So there's that. And then the ring. Ring 2070. And then um, the earrings. Earring 2071. I'm going to give you a measure on those, okay? Okay. Okay, so anyway, um, yeah, so do you see now, like, how can I actually make something that's going to kind of top this, and it's like, and I do, I have about five other ones that I said, there's no way I can't, like, you're asking me for something, like, otherwise, you, so many people do make so much Star of David stuff, that's basically kind of what I did, and Bali just, it's a lot more to manufacture things, so, um, I didn't feel good about what the price would be. We've got two sizes in bangle 272. We've got a 675 fitting a 575 to a 675 and an 8 fitting a 7 to an 8. I know. And this is my long time running bracelet that was like probably why a lot of us found each other, right? Was this piece. And so anyway, this is the one where you've got the safety 8 class. You've got the retention. Um, so you have all those features still to the bracelet. So... Yeah, two sizes in this though, ladies. So yes, it's my style that, again, was that perfect little bracelet. And I, I designed a lot of other cushion rectangle, but this has all that granulation work that my artisans put on by hand, along with the watermark that, of course, is one of our, our best patterns we've ever done, still to date. Okay, so congratulations for whoever gets those two original uh, pieces. <laughs> okay, now this is kind of crazy because this was the one that we actually have stock in right now. So I do want to tell you we do have stock, but this is the original piece, okay? So um, you can see 
um, very, very similar, of course, to what we're doing right now. Bracelet 6-1, I'm sorry, 6717 is a 675 fitting from a 6 to a 7 and a quarter. So go on, please. We do have other style numbers. I wish, uh, Mickey, can you please look this up in Michelle and put the style numbers that they have for this one too? Because again, we have all sizes in the ring um, on hand right now. Ring 6719. And the pendant. And pendant 6718. Now the bracelet, I do believe we're down to like six pieces only on the website for the bracelet though. And you're gonna see how that that change of color from depending on like where that light hits from the pink to that um, pastelly like that's what this this pink cashmere is so pretty, very much known for that gorgeous pop of uh, color. Okay, so this was when we had the the jade style. Can I please have you put the pink cashmere? We have stock in this. Oh, okay. So this is one of the ones that, it's not a 1-1. One, one. Make sure we mark the price down oh, to this price and then give them the style numbers. Yeah, because that one, if somebody's just watching new, we don't want to. Yeah, we want to make like, sure they get make the, sure good, the price good deal. Is the same, yeah. And that we've got stock in because we only have a size 8 in the J, J uh, number. Okay, ladies, do you remember this? Okay, so this is the ballet blush quartz and... Um, it's done in a really beautiful square, like so, so pretty. And wait a minute, what's the, is this the one that I used the topaz or the tourmaline? No. Tourmaline, pink it's tourmaline. It's tourmaline. Yep. And so, so this is all genuine, real pink tourmaline, holy Toledo. Are you kidding? So pretty. I can never do that at a price like that now. Oh my gosh. That was <sighs> pendant 5168. We've got bracelet 5170, which is a seven and a quarter fitting from a six to a seven and a quarter. We have a lot of this gemstone coming in this year, ladies. So I'm telling you, uh, this bracelet, grab it. Oh, wow. Um, I bet definitely not with the pink tourmaline because pink tourmaline, oh my gosh. So this was probably 10 years ago that I did this. Um, no. That, that's why it's not a 30% price increase. I'd say 100% price yeah. increase on tourmaline right now. Green. Especially pink. Oh, yeah. Green, a little bit more affordable, but pink. And matching four of the stones together. It's a no, tough. This would be a $500 bracelet because of the tourmaline. In today's world, right? Right. Okay, the earrings. Oh, my gosh. Earring 5169. And she's got on ring 5167. Guava is completely natural and untreated. So like when you see the stone and the different hues of the color through it, that's, that is, that is it. Like you see that there's like, even in the stone, see the healing of the different colors as you move it. Totally natural, untreated. Wow. Very cool. Okay. So, um, quick left on this one. Yeah, this is a good one. This is one I would be all over. Um, and the color, it's just that neutral color that just looks so good on everybody. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, oh my gosh, I love this dog tag. And it's a big, like I did really tiny on the earrings. And um, I went with granulation work and then the tree of life, like wire work. It's so pretty. Bracelet 2359, pendant 2360, ring 2361. Earring 2362. Okay, wow. Okay, I'm going straight for the pendant because I just, you guys, it, it's just so pretty. Look at the entire thing, the work on it. It's so beautiful. Pendant 2360. I'll just show you the measurement on that. Like, I love it. And let me get the earrings up here only because I want you to see it's just like sometimes, like, the perfect are, petite version of it. Right? Earring 2362. So cute. Okay. And then um, the, now, I, yeah, this whole thing, it was so different from the genre that I had kind of designed. Um, yeah, really like this one. Ring 2361. How cool that is on. Is that cute? Oh, yeah, that's really cute. I mean, it's in back then I was still about molding that around your finger to just be like such a lightweight, but such like artistry. Like this is all so Bali with the hand granulation work, the wire work. And then how fun is this? 
bracelet 2359 is a six and three quarters fitting from a six and a half to a seven and a half. So it fits to a six and a half? To a seven and a half. Your mom is six. It says it fits a size six. Yeah. Oh no. Uh -uh. Oh, I'm sorry. Six and a half, seven and a half. No, I know. I'm a six. Oh, it'll fit a six? Yeah. Okay. No, I'm a six. It is perfect. Perfect. I'd say five, seven, five. Okay. No, it's a five, seven, five to seven and a quarter. Mm -hmm. Okay. No, that is like spot on perfect. I love those twisted O-rings on there. Well, and here's the thing. When you have a piece like this and this, back then we were just figuring out how to size the bracelets. Mm -hmm. And then I had to add people onto my team because I could, we couldn't keep up with it. Yeah. So back then they were like, well, if it's this, it's this. If it's, no, it's not. Every single one we try on and we have different That's a little and different. So ladies, there's so much more I do to make sure the sizing and uh, that's why, like, this would have been old information that we would never have published that, but that's what we came up with, and now we know. Yeah. It's, like, different. Okay. So, oh, my gosh. You know what? Well, I have no horses right now. You know why? I took everything off my website because my sister does the horses. Uh -huh. And so um, I gave her every single stitch of my horse jewelry for fundraising. I love that. So, literally... This is like, and it's so perfect. It is so sweet. It it's is. so sweet. Bracelet 2483, uh, bracelet 2484, pendant 2485, and earring 2487. Oh my gosh. Okay. So you ladies that love the horsies, um, yeah, I was able to do two bracelets on this one. So look at this. Here, I better give you this down number. So this one? That is bracelet 2483. It's a seven inch fitting from a six and a half to a seven and a half. Look at the detail though on every single piece. I wanted to do this like, like the mama and the baby and the, I gotta tell you my sister, like if she would, because I ended up, I think I had these pieces, but I never had these for her. She's probably gonna be like, oh, get me those ones. <laughs> Why didn't so, I get those? Why didn't I get those? But yeah, super low profile, really like just piece of art, right? Somebody's gonna be like, oh, it's like, what is, oh, those are horses. Okay, so we do have the cuff too. That is cuff 2484. It's a seven inch fitting from a six to a seven. Full malleability here, ladies. So you've got some definitely where you can open this up. Who's this saying that this, did we already go over fit on this? Uh, fit on the link is six and a half to seven and a half. Okay, six and a half. Okay, that's wrong. That's again. fitting a six. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get those updated. Oh my gosh. Okay, so, uh oh. And that's the problem. We're going off old information mm -hmm. so I can bring this in inexpensive for everybody. Yeah. Um, so sometimes, like, that's why it's good that you're seeing this in person. So it, this is going to be that same fit as the okay. other one. Six to seven mm -hmm. and a half. And then we've got six to seven on the cuff. Okay. And this one definitely is going to be seven and a quarter. hundred percent. Yep. And um, because, but this is all the hand granulation work that goes all up the side. Yeah. That's, that's pretty amazing. Okay. And then we've got the, the pendant. Okay. Pendant two, four, eight, five. So pretty. I like the detail around the bale. Yeah, look at all the gallery still, like all that. I mean, yeah, I'm just so proud of that. My, my artisans and the, the skill that it takes to actually put those kind of galleries in by hand. But yeah. it's all about the experience of wearing jewelry like that because it makes it so much comfortable, more comfortable. Like, and the fit is so spot on when I can do that kind of adjusting and sizing for everybody. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Well, anyway, congratulations on the ladies getting their horses. Like, I think to me that's the most delicate and like... They're elegant. Yes, really just like, it's a very pretty horse. It's definitely an equestrian horse. Cause she's a little bit more proper, like, proper, like maybe she was British. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, this is when you ladies were asking for the studs. I remember, and when I was going into the fancies, oh my gosh, oh, this is so pretty, so pretty. This is Bangle 5036. It's a size seven, fitting from a six to a seven and a quarter. Yeah, I agree. 
uh, stud earring 5035, ring 5034, and pendant 5033. Okay, so the pink cashmere, I have to tell you, always one of my favorite cuts in the Lotus Ladies. Oh my gosh. So beautiful. Matter of fact, I've been working on this bracelet, ladies, to bring some stones in um, in blue fluorite. And I'm bringing in four, no, five sizes. Yeah. Yeah. Something so that was everyone. one thing that, like, in doing this and getting inspired and going, oh my gosh, this was one of the best tip to tips. Um, forgot about it. Like, if I've already got the best of the best, like, and I'm trying to knock out new things all the time, what? No, I need this in multiple colors. Like, it's, yeah, that was one of my favorite ones that I've done. And for you chain link girls, like, right? Yeah. That is that perfect bracelet to stack with your silver chain link bangles. Ring 5034. I love that the pink kind of gives the chain link a feminine touch. And this was something we just, it was so fun. We actually did like a pillow instead of the gallery, oh, like yeah. and hammered the whole thing. But I gotta tell you, it just is like a really fun, comfy ring. Mm -hmm. See, isn't that kind of, yeah. Just, I always have to do something a little bit different. I don't know why sometimes it's like, oh, let's go with this. But on the back, but of course I did the, the pretty one on, on the pendant. But this does have the enhancer too. And that is pendant 5033. Okay, so you have the pink cashmere uh, quartz done in that fancy lotus. And then you have the pale plum uh, topaz accents. Wow, gorgeous. Gorgeous. Oh, and the little studs. And that is stud right. earring 5035. Oh, these are cute. I think these are sevens. It was like that perfect little size. Okay. Very cool. Okay. Oh my, no. Look at this together. Okay. So this is the real, like super expensive untreated Burmese ruby. Okay. So this is a Myanmar. This is like, uh, so... Oh wow! Yeah, that's a... And I'm I'm gonna be doing some. Uh, you know, our pure pink topaz mm -hmm. is so pretty mixed with it. But come on, this is sapphire, so of course I'm gonna have to bring the whole set in. Yep. Look at that. That is fabulous. So we didn't carry this forward because uh, we couldn't get the rubies again once we did it. It was my personal stash. Did it when we went to price price them out? Holy was God. not affordable. I had no idea. Like I'm a good buyer for you, ladies. <laughs> I'm a good buyer. So I got such an amazing, like, yeah. Mm -hmm. So anyway, this was uh, the diamond set too. Actually, to be honest, too, it did take us forever for the setting um, on those, but yeah. Love, that is pendant 5950, and then the bracelet is bracelet 5949, and that fits a seven to an eight. Yeah, and they cut on this too. This was one. Um, we micro faceted and we did the, the beautiful shield lotus is what we call that. It's such a I unique mean, that's shape. that's just, I mean, right there, he would have gotten a word for the cutting on this one. He was like, no, I don't think we can do both. Uh, no. Oh, let's try, let's try. It's just like what I do in my arms. <laughs> Come on, let's try, let's try. Let's push the boundary. And sure enough, we did it. And this is ring 5951. Oh my gosh. That is money. Wow, look at that. Like oh, you did this for a crazy deal, ninety-nine ninety-nine. Oh no. Oh no. Yeah. Seriously. Earring. I know some of them I'm like, just do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay, I did do the little rubies in this too though. It's, they? They're so sweet. I know. Ladies, do not like I Yeah. That one's a no-brainer. That one's like, oh my gosh. And that was earring five nine five <gasps> two. Oh my gosh, I love this the piece. The Overflowed with Hope Collection. Okay, I got it. Do you know how like much labor goes into the this? The granulation. Oh my gosh. So many beads. I, I, I did a very small series of this because I have to be honest, I need my artisans to keep their passion. Mm -hmm. uh, but it was just so much because we did the silver, we hammered it. See, then we like folded this together. But then we place the little jawbone beads on the insides and the edges. Yeah, I mean, but oh my gosh, like just the, it, it's so beautiful too though, but, yeah. and we try to really match up the back side of it though too. Mm -hmm. so, that, so it's completely secure. Yeah. And we had a lot of cleaning on this one too. It's really hard because putting all the little jawbone beads on this, 
is fire. So cleaning it was, yeah, there was just a lot to it. But yeah, really great piece. Um, I ran it as long as I could, and then it was like, okay, not taking a reorder on it because um, I need my artisans to be excited about, about the something they're new. Doing. And this is earring 4263, that was pendant 4261. Pat Table said that was one of the first pendants she ever got. <gasps> oh my gosh, and Pat, like, think back, Pat, like, just the work and the, the, I mean, it's really, you have these pieces that are just, like I said, um, it's just exciting. I, I love being able to have this party history with you ladies, knowing that, um, yeah. So anyway, the bracelet, uh oh, we better go over the fit because I wonder if this is wrong too. It this is bracelet 4260. We've got the fit as a six and a half to a seven and a half. Oh, no. So we're what? gonna go six it's to a seven six and a half. to seven and a half on this one, yes. Okay. Oh geez, isn't that interesting? So, um, yeah. You know, this so is like, updated. yeah, because everybody knows like with my uh, wrist size on that. Isn't that just nuts? Okay, oh my gosh, we're gonna do some hearts. Yes. <gasps> Valentine's Day is just around the corner. It right? sure is. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I gotta tell you, like some of the heart collections I've done are really great. So we have nice. another one coming up that I think they're gonna be really excited about. I mean, I, I just, uh, and I think we bring them in for Valentine's Day and then they're done. But we like hearts year round. Yeah. I mean, come on. It's a classic it's jewelry shape. It's just, it, it just elevates all your outfits, right? They just always look good. Mm -hmm. This is bracelet 4264. It's a six and three quarters fitting from a six to a seven and a half. Okay, now we're back on key. That's true. That is correct, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yay! That would be correct, Sarah. Okay. Well, you know what? I, we could teach you how, to, how we're doing it just so you have an idea. Mm -hmm. Like, actually, you know, that's even something Michelle doesn't. No. Yeah. But I love showing you everything. Good Because you're like just soaking in. <laughs> but you come up with all these other ideas for me. That's why I'm like, well, can I show you this? If you have any other ideas. Test it out. This is ring 4266. You know what? Wait a minute. Let me put that. Okay. So you know how you stack rings, ladies? You know, sometimes stacks you can, if you're like more of a seven and a half, this is going to work because you're getting two of the pieces. So you're getting this ring, this ring. So, yeah, if you're an eight, but look at, like, look at all, the, I mean, you're getting three rings in this one. I love how it's got two different bands. This is the Love One Another band, too, that I, that I uh, did it with. Yeah, it's very cool, isn't it? Um, I'd love to receive that as a gift, right? It's right. like, you know, something maybe I wouldn't normally do, and I'm like, gosh darn it, it fits on every little finger. <laughs> that is earring 4265. So, this size on that. Too. It's just a little little guy, a little cutesy coot, cootie pie. Okay, oh my gosh, love this. And I always love this, but um, I do, I wanted it in white. So you're gonna see my series of the stuff coming in Mother of Pearl. Mother of Pearl is just spot on, like, uh, just one of those great little things. So this is the red agate. Bracelet 5962 is a seven and a quarter, fitting a six and a half to a seven and a half. Oh my gosh, it's the lucky ladies that are seven and a quarter. Yep. Oh my gosh. Well, I'm bringing in, when I bring the, the white in ladies, I'm bringing in um, four sizes. So you're going to have much better access. Four or five sizes. Um, so, but only somebody who is in that size range. And what, what is the size range on that? A six and a half to a seven and a half. Okay. Thank you. And here's the ring. Oh my gosh, I love this material. Ring 5964. Yeah, the red jasper is such a pretty fun color. You know what? It's, it, and it only looks good in certain things. I've said it in a lot of other things and I don't like it. I need a very fancy or a shape. Otherwise, it's very ordinary. Isn't that mm -hmm. strange? But this cutting was just perfect always wanted to use it, so love that I was able to bring that. This is Pendant 5963. And of course it has a magnet enhancer. And I just thought the cute little earrings, like when I did them, I was like, to me that's just, I don't know, very classic. And the black spinel uh, earring is 5965. Okay, oh my gosh, wait a minute. I'm gonna have to bring this in. 
like ladies look at this <gasps> this is the brie shaded and it is so cool so whoever is like an eight in this look at the colors but this is very hard for me to get that coloring um the same so it's not something that i can sustain or do a lot of um because but this was one of the ones where I was able to do the clear and the colors. Isn't that so cool? I love the stone variation on this one. Oh my gosh. That this is ring is... 6124. Look at that stone. And bracelet 6122 is a six and a half fitting from a six to an eight. A, oops. I feel like, did that come from Mama? Okay, a six to an eight. I'm a six. Yes. Perfect. Oh yeah, these, this, this, these, the way I designed that one, the comfort of this, uh, these pieces, um, I recently was like, I need to bring more in. That was a very small phase. It is, makes for a perfect fitting bracelet. Like, mm -hmm. and I have each, so I have done four, uh, four different sizes in these to make sure, depending on what it is. Um, that we actually, that I designed with, um, and I, I just love it. Um, this was when I did the series, we were uh, going and making it to where I stopped putting the stamp and I stuck it in the inside of the bale, the Sarda stamp, so that if you wanted to just wear it reversible, you could. You totally could. Yep, that's yeah. pendant 6123. And not always, sometimes I forget, sometimes I Okay, this ring, ladies, we need this ring. We need this ring back. Oh my gosh. Okay, I love that you're giving me this after. <laughs> ring is 6124. This one, this is that power ring, but that is so comfortable. And mm -hmm. oh my gosh, I love the, because sometimes I do rounds a lot. The, the marquee mm -mm -mm. It's nice. Man, this is good. But this material, like I said, is super hard. Sometimes it adds more rust with kind of black kind of running through it. This time when we cut into the material, I'm like, oh. so the whole collection that I did, um, that old page is really hard to do, um, but I love doing it. <gasps> oh my gosh, we got him back. The Daniel okay, and the Lion's the Den. Ring, and uh, we have the ring and the, we don't have the study ring. We have the uh, ring right now in stock. Mm -hmm. So I hope that Mickey, um, Michelle, I need you guys to look that up and put that in because we have multiple sizes in the ring, okay? This is ring 1921. Do you think Michelle's still here? Um, yeah, it's three. She should still be here. Because I, I feel like... Mickey, and we've got pendant 1920. Listening because we definitely need Because this is, yeah, this, the, wow. I'd definitely be getting a ring if I got the pendant. I look, yeah. My King of Judah. Oh, that was a good piece. Oh, and we have the earrings, but we have them with a French wire. So if you don't want the stud, um, I think we have 10 pairs left of the earrings. Earring 1922. And then we did get a request to reshow the Star of David. Oh my gosh. Okay, who is it? Who is it? Uh, Amber Lee asked, and I think she was asking for a friend, so I'm oh not quite gosh. sure. Okay. So, um, yeah, that's the first one. So if you were in late. And really, ladies, um, I wish that I would have... Um, this is something that definitely... Um, if anything, I should keep this pendant, right? Always. Because the pendant, it. yeah. Mm -hmm. So maybe the pendant and the ring, maybe together would be like the really. Oh, yeah, they're would, telling me it's for Gwen. It's for Gwen. Oh my gosh. Okay, Gwen. And Gwen did. No, we were doing one of the shows and Gwen asked me about it. Oh my gosh. So I love it. Um, so, yes. Gwen, we, we have size eight in the ring. But uh, Gwen, you tell me, what do you think the ladies, maybe would we bring two pieces, but I'm not sure if the bracelet is for everybody though. 
I mean, it's bigger, it's, right? Yeah, it's got some size. Yeah, that's why I'm like, um, earrings, yeah, but I mean, to me, the ring and the uh, pendant are just pieces that would be so wearable, like with so many different looks too. And one of my most comfy, I mean, it's, it's yeah, fabulous. that ring is fabulous. Yeah. Okay. Alrighty. And I gotta be honest, I think I would redesign this and shape this out differently. See where it's more oval? Mm -hmm. I think I'd be bringing this down and, yeah, I'd be, I'd be manipulating this. Revamping it for different. you. Yeah, I'm not loving the fit. But again, I was newer. That was close to 10 years ago. So at really getting it right, I could never do it like that. They'd have to have new dimensions <laughs> and stuff. So the bracelet, no, it's great, but I can make it better. You sure can. Always. Okay. <gasps> oh my gosh. Now we're going into a cross. And this is the pink. Um, Mother of Mother Pearl. Pearl. Yeah, with and the these quartz are cards. It's so cute, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show the ring first because... Even if you're not hearts, it's kind of funny. They're like, like secret hearts a little bit. It? I, I didn't know. notice it until a little I, after I playing with it. I did that one because it's like for people that are like... Don't love the traditional heart jewelry. I stopped down the watermarks on it. Isn't that funny? That is funny. Ring 6116. So so the glow of the mother of pearl is really fun. I mean, this is like that perfect powder pink that's just like, yeah. It's the kind of what we use when we use the highlighter on our cheeks to make it look like yeah. we're like yeah. lifted up. <laughs> it's like that color. Bracelet 6114 is a size 7, fitting a 6.5 to an 8. A 6.5, uh oh, I think we're wrong again. Nope, this is a 6. Okay. This, this is my size. Yep. See, I'm my small size right here. Yep. Six to uh, seven and a quarter. Okay. And I think they would actually call it a seven and a half. Do we have the long ruler in here? Uh, we do not. Okay. No. So I use that uh, long you ruler because the ladies uh, we'll, we'll get one in here. You know why? The ladies sometimes have me measure it mm -hmm. on the ruler for them um, because this one I could be a little off, but I'm being conservative on it because I don't want them to get it home since there's only one and um, not have it work. So sometimes what we do. There we go. And I did that the other night. So see that is, but I'd still take, a, that's why it would be a six. And you know, I think that is actually gonna be a, to a, a seven and a half. So I think I was saying seven and a quarter on most of those bracelets, it will be seven and a half. Okay. Yeah. So, because this is that same kind of uh, line. So, six to a seven and a half on those bracelets, ladies. The ladies are saying that sometimes you say you have a six and a quarter wrist, and sometimes you say you have a six. Yeah. So, they want to make because sure. Because I'm six here and six and a quarter here. You see how that sticks out? So, when I measure here to here. Okay. But I tend to wear my bracelets up here sometimes, so that's mm -hmm. why, really, when they're seeing it, because I'll pull them here, it's six and a quarter, six here. Six and a quarter here. Good to know. All so, right, there you go, ladies. But that's why it's like, okay, six and a quarter. I do. And that's kind of like Chanel. <laughs> <laughs> Earring at 6117. I'm a person too, weird, right? I am. A little weirdo. And then pin at 6115. Okay. <gasps> okay, this was the dark girl sapphire. Oh, uh, this one. This was really pretty, pretty stone. Um, yeah, this was one of my uh, collection that I'm wearing for a long time. Bracelet four nine nine three is a seven, and we've got it fitting a six and a half to a seven and a half. Yeah, the way I cut it back then, it, this was called the dark rose sapphire, but you see the white sapphire and almost sometimes a hint of purple sometimes because of the cutting um, and the quality of the material. I never wanted to just do the material that was like um, low quality. So this is not one of those ones that was old school that you can actually really um, make malleable. What, what size do we have for this bracelet? Six and a half to a seven and a half. Mm -hmm. It's because it is a little bit bigger, but see for me, 
I would just do it in like this and we're like a bangle. So remember, I'm six to six and a quarter. That's what you're looking at. Okay, um, here we go. Ring four nine nine zero. It's such like a vibrant fuchsia color. And this is one of those weird ones that I could wear it on my eight, but I prefer it on my like seven. So if you're a seven, I'd say you'd probably be really good with this one too. And uh, this is that really old school we use around the carvings, like the doors and our, our property. So I brought in a really traditional old style Interesting. Um, of work on this one. Gorgeous. Okay, then we've got the earrings, of course. Earring 4992. And I feel like some of the ladies might have one or two pieces. I hope this goes out with a bunch of different people because um, they probably have one piece of this and they're like, oh my gosh, I always wanted to get the pendant or the earrings. So hopefully this will go out to four different ladies to kind of have two pieces maybe. Complete some stuff. To sets. their collection, right? And that was pendant 4991. Okay, we had our monkey with the mauve pearl and then my second monkey I did was an all silver monkey. And this is when I went to Bali and um, took pictures of monkey forest. And then um, I had that picture of the mama monkey and the baby monkeys because they're, there's so many babies in monkey forest. Mm -hmm. um, this is also when the monkey also, actually when I was taking video for the ladies live, mm -hmm. the monkey got on me and peed on me. Stop and peed in my Louie. It all ran Gross. down. I have my crossbody Louie, and all the pee went into Ruined. my purse. Ruined, of course it did. And I'm like, the monkey peed in my Louie. <laughs> and they didn't realize, you know, that's gonna go out to people. Like, yeah, it was, <laughs> I, that's, what a weirdo, you know. That's funny. But anyway, but I am, I, I, they've always called me the little monkey, because I am, I just always had my hands and everything, and do things and I'm just laughing because like monkeys the fact that I got asked to design the monkeys because I was always called a monkey that is a fun bracelet bracelet number two zero six four is a six fitting from a six to a seven quite a bracelet lots of silver in that here is the mama monkey and the baby and literally the artisans did exactly the photo that I did so sweet. Pendant 2065. That's probably still on my Facebook page somewhere floating around. Watch somebody find it and repost it. <laughs> the video going, the video going, oh my gosh, it's like, the monkey painted my Louie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Those have been my treats over the years, the treat, you know, yeah. me, you know. Yeah. Now, not so much because it's like, um, yeah, it's, I don't know, God has me in a different direction, but everything before was like, I loved now. I gave most of my Louis Vuittons away. Earring 2067. Okay. And then ring 2066. Yeah, I, I did. It went much smaller in the little... Get the little hands, too. Like, that's what I do with my little babies. <coughs> like, my Hold on to him. lets me, like, he, he's the only... He loves to be held like that. And then he I, loves to be held like a baby. I love that. that. How sweet. Okay. So uh -oh. I hold in before you start the next one. Nikki is setting up a like share tag for the this video. So if you like this video, share this video. And if you're watching over on YouTube, you make a comment. We're gonna put the names into the spinner wheel for tomorrow to do a spin um, for Ooh, a special away. surprise. So I just wanted to come in and let everyone know to like, oh. share, and comment. This one, the one this we're one. doing right now? Yep. Uh, leave the comment minty because it's the mint. Oh, it minty. looks like we've got lots of hashtag oh, minty. Minty. Hey, wait a minute. This is the tip to tip bracelet that I did. It sure is. This is in the bamboo. Well, okay. This is a really cool tip to tip. That's bracelet 5243. It's a seven fitting a six and a quarter to a seven and a quarter. Okay, and then this was a spinner ring that I did in the bamboo. Now this one, I do want to say though, this one I made very, very thick. Um, I did it more for a thumb ring because, see this one does take up some space. 
and usually, but with the spinners, it's really hard to knot. Okay, so see where my fingers are a little bit? So just think about that, ladies. Some people have more space between their fingers, but you ladies that have very petite wrists, I'm, I'm not sure if I would do this ring for you. This is but ring 5245. I didn't realize it was a spinner yesterday. Well, and the quality is beyond. Yeah. I mean, it is like, but I just want to make sure you're aware of that. So if you have an eight, size eight thumb ring, this to me is the kind of quality I'm on my thumb though. Yeah. Um, this bracelet though, I really love it. And this is where maybe what I would do though, I think I want this. I like this, but I like, um, I really like this. But you know what I'm thinking though? Do some little, uh, I like emerald do, shaped gemstones. I think, uh, yeah, I'm thinking, yeah, I know that's what I'm thinking. Like some gems, like, mm -hmm. would be, you know, I know this one is. I, I, cause I, um, I recently just done a bunch of new bamboo and I don't like it. This is like that one. Ooh. Yeah. That's a good See, bamboo that, set. That's why sometimes I have my room over there and stuff and I'm at, can I send me this? Can I send me this? And oh then, my gosh. Everybody the loves The little pigs. They're so fun. Oh my gosh. Um, and we kept making it until we couldn't make it anymore. See, because the, we, was the last of it. So this, you're going to get more of a, um, Varied color. Yes, because this did have a large range of color and there was nothing we could do about it. So there's some that are a little more pink and, some and then some like that pink. are a little more taupey. Okay? So you see kind of the colors. So if you have some of these pieces, so cute. Look at his little pig. And I did, I got requests for everything. And this pig like came in a couple times. So I did not realize how many people liked pigs. It was definitely a surprise when I pulled it out. Uh, yeah, it, it, I've been asked for everything. So cool. Bracelet 4917 is a seven. We've got it fitting from a six to an eight. And look at, yeah, this one has a little pink and the, the bracelet I tried to hit all the colors. Okay, so this is probably the pinkest, which sometimes they would call purple. Pendant 4918. Yeah, he's got some the, stripes on him. Mm-hmm. The Naker, like how that Naker's coming out, this is a great little ring. Ring 4919. Look at his little white nose. <laughs> okay. And the then, stud earrings. Yep. 4920. Okay, that's what we got. You can see that luminosity of them, though. Pretty, pretty awesome, right? Yep. Okay. Oh. I, I, the Mountain Wizard. Oh, we're doing all pink today. Uh, is that how we're lining that up? We've got some citrines and some purples okay, and yellows like later. It's mostly blues, pink though, yeah. We okay, we've got our uh, colors a little flopped around this week. Well, that way if you miss it out on a pink, but it's like, yeah. I like to mix the colors up, so I think maybe I'm going to tell him, like, I think a mix of colors is the best. Okay. Ring 4417. And then we've got ear, uh, pendant for 416. This is in the lotus cut too. So you know what? I always kept in mind when I did collections, okay, my ladies that like edgy chain link, you know how that other one was? But then coming in, do I do a tree of life, um, something more feminine whenever I had a cut. So this really gave you two different options in that uh, pale plum, right? Mm -hmm. The ballet uh, blush um, quartz. And that is pendant 4416. And, oh, this is that bracelet that when I pulled it the other day, with the look, you know we have that cable, that bracelet that I made mm -hmm. like this now. And, um, yeah, look at, look at even the underside of the leaf. I always said, like, I would, it was so fun that there was every part of this. Oh. But um, I love the closure on this, but I said, gosh, I really like this bracelet a lot. This yeah, I like is this style. Bracelet four four one five. It's a six seven five, fitting from a five and a half to a six and three quarters. And look at that lotus cut. Wow. It just speaks. Do you know my girlfriend Tracy? I went out to dinner with her last night. Lady, she's a ball of day. Tracy Ruder Graham. Uh, and um, she is like me. She loves to gift. So every time I see her, she gives me something. <laughs> so I'm like, stop, you know, because both of us don't receive very well. So I guess we're used to being the giver. Anyway, 
ladies, I'm gonna I'm gonna light it up tomorrow. But behind me on my set, she got me a lotus with like one of those candles. Oh, and you know how much my, all my gems are lotus cut. Like how much I do it because I love the story of the lotus. I feel like I'm was that lotus that like. God brought me to the light and just, you know, like, I'm, I'm just so grateful. So anyway, um, yeah, so anyway, you'll see that on my set tomorrow. This is the bamboo set that I gave a sneak peek of yesterday. Um, we've got bracelet 4404. It's a six and a quarter fitting from a six to an eight and a quarter. Did you sneak peek I sneak peeked it. I knew they were excited about bamboo. Wait, I'm also Isn't it great? It, this took me forever to make sure that this fits everybody. Mm -hmm. Like this is that like thousand dollar bracelet that they will sell. Yeah. I love that you picked that because you know high end mm -hmm. luxury. And I'm very proud of, of these bracelets. Like mm -hmm. it's yeah. And it's bamboo, which to me is the elegance. detail work on this one is is just excellent. Right? Oh my gosh, I love that you notice that. It's <laughs> like it did take a while. I know it's an all silver collection you think would be easy, but I took a long time refining this one for for the ladies. Ring and four gems. four zero six. Look at that. The detail, right? So the van I think I've read this with the bamboo going this way, because I usually do it like this. Mm-hmm. But you know, even the inside gallery for you, because like you just know, like it's like okay, yes, the elegance, the feel of it is gonna be spot on. Locket, ladies, I love it. Um, you know how I am about the shapes and stuff in the jewelry too. Pendant four four zero five. Remember, with your finger, you don't have to use your nail. Bamboo on the inside. Yep. Barbara Behar said she bought the bamboo tip to tip sight unseen earlier. Oh my gosh. The tip to, oh my gosh. Yep. She's going into the bamboo now. <gasps> All right. That means they have to be really good for you, hon. Okay. Because um, I'm working on Moisanite in the bamboo right now. So mm -hmm. That'll uh, be fun. Because I was like, I, like, I want, I love that I can make Moisanite affordable. So why not put it with all my other gemstones? Mm -hmm. So I'm really trying to do the different motifs and the, and I'm like, holy Toledo, that's a lot of different designs to, to mm -hmm. get that in to that, you know? And then we've got earring 4407 for these bamboo sets. Oh my gosh, okay, this was my nephew. So we literally went to Bali and said, okay, Joey, we're gonna come out with a men's collection. And um, this was his Damascus. Nice. So it's almost like a wood grain type thing. Yeah. And this was our little collaboration that we did together. I love this. So, um, pendant 4374 and bracelet 4372. The bracelet is a size seven, fitting from a six to a seven and a quarter. I know this was something somebody ended up using this, and it was like, <gasps> this was that special wine, and I was so like, more like, oh my gosh, that was sacred. That, yeah. like, oh my gosh, no, please don't do that one. <laughs> okay, very cool. Oh my gosh, <gasps> Me, we just went over. I miss this so bad, ladies. The Bali Sunrise, and I want to remind you how spectacular it is. It's like this beautiful pure pink, pale plum, but with this candlelight that like pops out of it. Yeah. So I'm actually bringing this Bali Sunrise back because it is, it's, it's, it's a gorgeous topaz. Gorgeous topaz. That was bracelet 4880. It's a six and three quarters fitting from a six to a six and three quarters. Uh, earring 4883 and then pendant 4881. See the citrines, the um, ardens you could mix it with, the uh, your pinks. Like there is so much range that you can wear this with, with uh, colors of gemstones because of it. But to me, again, I'm really picky on my colors and I want sophisticated. Like, um, also, too, I would definitely, with the northern lights that I do, uh, mix it with that. Mm -hmm. To me, really beautiful with the northern lights that I do, too. Be pretty with some of the opals we have right now. Oh, yes. Oh my gosh, all the opals, too, right? You're right, that would go with the celestial. This would go with the star, the sun, the star and moon. Oh, yes, Sarah. 
okay, you know, this is my number one. Like, I love this scallop bracelet. I love her zigzag bracelet. I love her wave bracelet. Like, these are those ones that um, we definitely need to bring, bring some of these back again this year. Bracelet 4880 is a six and three quarters, fitting from a six to a six and three quarters. Okay, and that great little bypass ring. This almost did not make it because I was so crazy about lining the stones up just right. It was okay on the eight, but then we had to do the nine, then we had to do the 10, we had to do the 11. To do the sizes individually it, so they sit properly. It was like, yeah, we almost gave up on it. Ring 4882. But real bypass. And then you can basically go like, but each one we had to do like to, to get it home. Whoops, my oil all over my hands still. Anyway, like, yeah, just really fun. Anyway, it's so fun to see the Bali Sonoris again and knowing that I just literally cut some new stoner for it. <gasps> okay, this opal, oh my gosh, this is the one. <clears throat> I really want to uh, work a collection together with the Aver News and this opal. Oh, that would be fun. Because it is just um, very sultry. Very, and remember, ladies, I did a collection like this. You've already got this opal. I mixed it with the Ardent, okay? So I want to do the Ardent, the Aver News, and this. Together, they were just phenomenal. But I love this little bracelet, too. Bracelet six nine three eight is a seven. We've got it fitting from a six and a half to a seven and a half. Yeah. So a, oh, a six and a half. Seriously? Does mm -hmm. it say a six and a half? It sure does. I'm a six. No. Okay. Six. And with this one, you can link into these two. So if you have a smaller wrist, that does link into all of those. Perfect. And that clasp allows for it. So look at, this is, uh, I remember that other bracelet I did, I had to, each of the pieces, do you see the little flower on this piece? But it goes even onto the side. Do you see where it's overlapped? This piece, yeah, e each individual, like the detail on this one is phenomenal. Yeah, all the hidden fringe panties. This is weird too, because at that time we really got our sizing down spot on with that, so I'm surprised that we have that wrong. Okay. Ring six nine four zero. Beautiful. Lynn Blear says she uh, owns it already. And she's a five seven five. Yep, that's, that's why. It, isn't that weird? I was just thinking of her. That's this so funny. This would fit Lynn with her five seven five. But um, Lynn is not funny. So I obviously, when I first did it, I probably said, "Oh, this is gonna fit." But here it is. We were uh, trying to gather all this information, but. Bringing it up for everybody to enjoy to still do a great price. I have to be careful how much time we spend putting that together for just one piece. Yeah. Like, otherwise, the price, like, again. And that like, was pendant 6939 really and pet. earring 6941. Be honest, I really, this is super lightweight. Yeah. Because of the stud. Mm -hmm. This is a gorgeous earring. Are you kidding? I would like these earrings. Like, there's not a lot of earrings, but I gotta tell you, I could see these in a bunch of different colors. Mm -hmm. In the, oh my gosh, the Beyond Elitism ring that I do. Oh yeah. This would be such a pretty collection in this. See, I already have that one ring, but that would be a pretty spin-off from it. Wow, okay. All right, so, uh, oh, oh my gosh, ladies. Oh my gosh, these are those bracelets. Look at, oh, I, I love, love the statement cuffs like this. And this is the Spirit of Truth Collection. Bracelet 1968 is a six and a half, fitting from a six to a seven. This is that mixed media. And remember, I already did a ring like this for you ladies. Um, we had, this is the second part of that collection. The basket weave, chain link, the tree of life. And then all that gorgeous pinwheel. It's like a pinwheel of granulation work. Yeah, this is a museum piece. And this should have like four digits on it. 
bracelet 1968. Wow. And this is malleable. Yeah, definitely. We'd be squeezing this in to fit. What, what do we have on the fit with this one? A uh, six to a seven. A, yeah. But this could be opened up though. Um, I'm, I'm going to go up to say to a seven and a half. Okay. Yeah, because you just open that guy up. He is, he is made so beautifully that no, up to a seven and a half for sure. Pendant one nine six nine. Yeah, a bracelet and a pendant to go. Yeah, these are so cool. I definitely probably do those together. <gasps> oh my gosh, this is the okay. So you're gonna laugh because we we used to have one like this that opened like this, but literally I don't even know how people did it. They broke it. yourself. So it's like they couldn't figure out how to do this, so they like. So we they pulled changed the way. it to open this way, but it used to go like this way. How interesting. And I was like, how the heck could they break that? It was the craziest thing in a show. I came and we had three samples and it was like, what? 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 And then the last one I said, would you give that to me? I want to see how hard it is. I couldn't break it. And I thought, That's okay. Some strong ladies. Yeah, so I redesigned what I did. It was, it was so funny. But anyway. So this one is that really beautiful uh, bypass. Look how pretty that is. I really like this one. Bracelet 4358 is a seven, fitting a six to a seven. Yeah, that'd be safe to say. Six to a seven easily. Um, I kind of feel like Bart back off if she's looking at this. Six, seven and a quarter might really work on this one, like just filling it out. Teresa Stevenson says she has an old <coughs> fold-out bracelet. She has what? She has one of the fold-out bracelets. Yeah, and I Funny. switched the style after that because I went, are you kidding me? This is so cool that I could do that. Did you got to remember? Like, mm -hmm. I, I just, I, I get excited like to do new things, but then I'm like, I don't know how somebody did this. And since I can't do it, we're going to have to discontinue this. this so, is Frangipani. Pendant 4359. Okay, wait till you see the ring. This I really would like to bring this ring back. Actually, would you uh, start this ring? Yeah. This ring is, ladies, it is beyond, beyond, like, i got to bring this ring back. Ring. This ring is Four, three, six, zero. I could see it, too, with some uh, tiny, like, diamond cut rounds in the <gasps> little tips of the flower there. Oh, my gosh. Diamonds? Yeah. Because, yeah. Oh, Add okay. a little sparkle to it. Oh, oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> Okay, I yeah, I don't know, ladies. That I mean, that ring only because do you see that inside? Like this one, the fit of this is phenomenal. And I have turned so many ladies into wearing like larger rings because they're like Chanel are so comfortable. But it, we kind of it, we kind of love the compliments, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so it looks like you've got awesome taste. <gasps> And, you know, people do look at those pieces and kind of like, and isn't it fun to show them the insides, ladies, and go, my designer actually did all my insides, too. Yep. It's like an eternity wow. band. I love to say, when I'm waving goodbye, you can still see how beautiful my jewelry is. <laughs> yeah, look, remember, I'm your personal designer, so you absolutely tell them. You've got, you've got, this girl is my personal designer. Okay, now, this one I did in two different things before I did it in any um, sapphire. Pink sapphire, yep. And I did it in um, an all silver version. The sapphire was too expensive because <laughs> again, I used my old stuff and then I went and priced it. So if you actually had it with the, the real Burmese sapphire, like that was crazy because then you know I relaunched it in all silver because it was, yeah, the price. So I did that often. Like I came in, I wanted to design it a certain way. It's my, it was my personal sock. So I didn't, it, it's like the grace of God that I stayed in business, to be honest. Like it was like, well, I want everybody to have this. Now with this one, remember I did it as a locket. Okay. So that actually does open. Do we have that listed like that? Because I think people always miss that. Uh, we do not have it listed as a locket, but we will get that added. But um, yeah, this one is kind of going to be a rarity. Like, to be honest, like our the person who we've got one person that's it that can actually set these stones, but this the cost of real sapphire like this mm -hmm. you now is just it's not sustainable. Yeah. Now the bracelet is going to have the locket also, okay? 
And that was pendant 5030. This is bracelet 5029. It's a seven and a quarter. We've got it fitting from a five and a half to an eight. With the key. Keys of the kingdom. <laughs> uh, French panties on the end. This is that gorgeous oval that's just like super silky. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Say, I gotta pay attention when you're telling me size because I gotta make sure it's right. I, and I every time I don't hear it because I'm enjoying the design myself. <laughs> and I remember taking in all the beauty. all the issues that I had to get this just right and all that stuff. So I'm so sorry, Sarah. I keep asking. You. This Wait. is gonna fit a five and a half to an eight. Because this is going to be done. Okay. Yeah. This actually, yeah. Okay. No, because right here, you can hook into this one. So, yeah. No, it's correct. Okay, look at these cute little guys. Look at those. The earrings oh, are gosh. sweet. Okay, wait a minute. Did I not do the sapphire and ear earrings? Nope, not in the earrings. Yeah, no, I didn't. And this is earring 5032. They were just too delicate and uh, for the money to be put in. The ring though, look at that. I did the two little. Ring so 5031. So, oh my gosh. These are, it, like, you'd think they'd be, you'd just stick a charm on there, but like every little link, I had to link it a certain way. Oh, so it it's, hangs properly? Yeah, it's like, it was kind of crazy. It's the ones that, I have to be honest, doing this type of thing, it would sometimes, I would go back to it the next year to finally get it. Pendant 5030. Look at that, too. Double sided. Oh, cute. I really like some of these. And that's where, like, why I leave everything out. Because it's like, I've always loved that. I want to do another collection with this. This I usually do two different collections. or mm -hmm. Anyway, um, and because the ladies would ask me, hearts, Chanel, hearts, more hearts. And it's like, I'm not really a heart person. So I needed the collection to be really fabulous yeah. because my ladies that interesting hearts, heart jewelry they're collecting hearts they have some of the best probably out there ever and um, yeah so the heart jewelry was really important for me to make it really special. Mobby pearl ring five two two seven. Okay. Oh my gosh. Uh, we didn't get great news back on the mobbies. Remember I announced that I was working on them. Um, the price is to, oh my gosh, we did, we need the Mahdi to, oh my gosh, this chain. <sighs> Bracelet 5225 is a seven. We've got it fitting a six and a half to a seven and a half. Oh my gosh, I, yeah, I remember how long that took to do. I need to master this again. I've got to go back and we got to work on this. So can you just put a note on this one? I mm -hmm. um, need the chain, what are you? Like, just in a one stone, but I gotta do this. Like, some really more expensive gems. And the fabulous in chain. The middle, but use this, because that is like, this was so hard to get the right gauge to, for this to work. So, anyway, I know I kept the recipe to that of what we had to do. Uh, but here's the thing I think it's just a really beautiful bar. I'm gonna bring that bar hinge in a little closer and just do super elite gemstones in the middle. It's gonna be gorgeous. Yeah, that's what I would want to. And I think I'm only gonna do like, uh, well, I'll change this with my design of team, but I think I definitely, oh, see, see, oh, see, and that will make this chain a little bit longer. Oh, yes, yes, okay. Sorry, ladies, this is, yeah, this was, I tried for years. It's, you can't just put all this chain together. It takes like a certain, like, yeah, like I said, a formula. Uh, pendant 5226, and that was ring 5227. Okay. Oh, well, I took a long time on that tray, sorry. There was, like, some of these designs that I've done for you in the past, though, are, like, super, like, oh, my gosh, I know I could do this at even a better price than I did before. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, like being able to go direct to you ladies again, I'm thinking, oh, I have to bring some of these back. Some of these were so pricey before. Okay. Okay, we've got, this is the uh, peach. The so this is orchid, like, hey, um, orchid and Morganite, mother of pearl. And um, 
yeah, boy, does that look just like Morgan. Holy Toledo. That's amazing. Um, finding that hue of the pearl in the shell. Um, I know I didn't. I know we, I think maybe you might have seen this two times and then I couldn't do it again because of the, with the coloring, but wow. So pretty. Is that high end? What Ring 6201. Wow. Beautiful. Okay. And earring 6202. Oh, now we have these because we brought this in. It's one of my only bracelets. Like, I don't think I can get any better on gorgeous the filigree. Like, look at this. Cherished forever this, set. I try to make this as affordable for everybody. Ooh, because it is one of those luxury bracelets and it took me, like, I'm serious, a half a decade to get this right. So we did do two sizes, which seems to accommodate a lot of people. Yep, bracelet four, seven, four, nine. We've got a six and three quarters fitting from a five and a half to a six and three quarters, and a seven and a half fitting from a six and three quarters to a seven and a half. And so anyway, I did do some other pieces, but I did a pin pendant, because I feel like just having that pin pendant, like, yeah. And this is pendant 4791. And then these were the hoops that I did for it. Oh my gosh. Earring these, 4793. Those are great hoops. Yeah. Yeah, those are beautiful. Those are really pretty. This, this is that, man, super lightweight. Wow. Shame we didn't bring those in. That so doesn't pretty. mean we can't in the future. <laughs> I think, look at how many, I mean, I think like probably over the, this next month, we'll have shown 6,000. That's crazy. That's the done. matching ring That's to it. That's why I'm just like, oh my gosh. So many different things, right ladies? Are you like sitting there going, when is she going to show this one? You know, like. Ring uh, 4792. They were asking about the citrine earlier. See, look at that. Like, see how I kind of play off different designs that I have to bring in other things? Oh, wait, this was the ring that went with it. Sorry. Yep, that I was like, with it. That's not, that is the collection that I designed for. And then this guy goes with that. But I have more stuff, though. Okay, this is one. Clear-cut dependents. That I did for a long time. I had different sizes in them. And fully, fully malleable. Bracelet 2060. We've got this one as a size 8 fitting a 7 to 8. Yep. And again, you saw that other like work that goes with it. You know, that all the jawbone beads and that tree of life. But I love that it's just one bead. And this is really, like for me, that inspiration and why I love the tree of life. Because it's that um, he is the vine, we are the branches. If we stay within him, we will, like, and that is my life now. Like, I, when I do stay in the closeness and anything that comes my way, like, because I'm the one of fear. Like, I, I am, like, the older I got, the more fear that I got. Um, in maybe doing things or risks or, you know. So, I, I just, I love that scene. And then, Joey got married to Casey. And guess what? That's one of Casey's favorite like verses too. So I love just, them. I love that. See. That kind of brought us together in that. Yeah. And then I made a sort of sign out of it. Like our, mm -hmm. our, our handicrafts that we have online. And anyway, those are still, you know where we film, like at my home. Ladies, I still have those because I have really tall ceilings. All my signs are up. Mm -hmm. They sure are. And um, it's when I walk, you know, around, I, I stop and I get to see those. Like, Okay, if you're just feeling that, go in there and, yep, the word's on the wall. Yep. Mm -hmm. Ring 2062, and then we've got earring 2053, which is the cross, and the other hoop is 2063. So this is when I brought in those little, uh, uh, my old school, like, see, where you just whip it around like that? Oh, so this, I used to use uh, that type of structure and we handmade those in Bali like that all the time. So I just brought one in for a, 
And again, see, look at the jawbone beads from the both sides. Look at, isn't that incredible? But yeah, these are very edgy. These are very edgy, cool. Um, I always said, uh, I like these with the dragons. Oh, because, yeah. Because, like, it looks like it's, like, maybe like the dragon fire. Blowing fire, fire yeah. Yeah, I, I always, like, I love, like, can we line these up with the dragons? How fun. Um, and that was earring 2063 and then pendant 2061. Yeah, and this is, this is, yeah, this is a huge medallion. I love seeing pictures of ladies wearing this one. It's just really cool looking. Okay, so. Right, some zero, uh, pink vapor. Okay. Oh, just the three. It. Yep. Okay. So, oh, we got a lot of pink vapor going on right now. Ring five two three zero. I think we're out of the eights right now too, so that's great. So if you're an eight, this will totally match. And then um, I did this also in the true Picasso. This was one of my favorite collections I did. You know why? Because it's reversible. it's reversible. You can wear it two ways, you know. And this is pendant 5228 and earring 5231. These are so lightweight. It's kind of crazy to think that I put, I think it's a seven millimeter stone in it. It doesn't like, wow. This, these are really great. I, I mean, hoops. It's just are a great, great statement. Yeah. But yeah, well, these these feel like those silver ones I designed. What the heck? These have gemstones. Okay. <gasps> this bracelet. And you know what? Something happened when I designed this bracelet. Somehow, when they checked the quality of them, when I sent this out to the person, they put the big one in the, they switched them. So everybody was like, this is not this size. This Something is wrong with this size. Oh. And I was like, what is going on? Because it was such an unusual bracelet. And I was so excited because literally it's the prettiest tip to tip ever or this. This was such a difficult bracelet to design. Look at it. So unique. And I was just like, just heartbroken because I was like, oh my gosh. So I'm working on getting even more sizes of this one done because I gotta tell you with all my stone jewelry, this is so beautiful. It's such a beautiful mix in. But see like this one I could wear with my pieces, uh, which six, seven, five, I tend to go to six, seven, fives a lot, but it is, it's a gorgeous stacker. This is bracelet six, six, zero, three. We've got a six and three quarters. Uh, fitting from a six and a half to a seven and a half, so we'll change that to a six to a seven and a half then. It's, it's it, what is it? Uh, it's a six seven five. We've got it fitting from a six and a half to a seven and a half. Oh, see. Okay. Well, because yeah, because I do more loose. Yeah, I probably did. Um, most people wouldn't wear it like this. Like I, I like mine a little bit. A little loose. So. Six and a half. Yeah, go ahead and keep it. Because okay. this one can be very fitted. Yeah, that's fine. We can keep it. Okay. And that seven and three quarters will fit a seven and a quarter to an eight. Oh, this is definitely. Ladies that are in eights, please do not put, like let this one scare you, the size of it. it, it the quality of this, sorry, this one would go for $1,000. Yeah. 100% the quality would go for $1,000. Because look at the gallery, how hard the gallery is putting all those separate sections into there. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that's why this one, like duplicating, replicate, like I said, we, we've got to work on this and, and do some smaller sizes. Mm -hmm. And the other part of the collection is just super contemporary. Yep. With the high polish, mm -hmm. uh, the pendant 6604. I put it into the, like, the piece there. Yeah, just super contemporary. Same with the ring. Just a really pretty, pretty gallery. Ring 6605. It fits like butter, but very, just a super contemporary ring. The inside is delicious. Look at that. It's so soft. So pretty. Oh yeah, these were pretty too. 
earring 6606. I'm doing so much high polish in the general idea and stuff right now too. It'd be so pretty with that. Oh my gosh. Um, this apricot banded agate was so hard to work with. Um, I'm getting um, some pairs that I had that came in. And these earrings are paired with it as well. Um, this is ring 4911. See the shape? How hard that, like, yep. Yeah. This is when I went into some of those fancy cuttings. Um, I didn't stay in this long because really, really hard on my horses, to be honest. Yeah. Um, but the color variation was, here is so interesting. But I was, it was like the coloring of this was just, it was material that I found and it's um, like crazy lace in the other ones. Like it's really hard to get spot on exact with these, but it, it, it was this dreamy when you moved it, that this play, it almost looked like it was alive in the banding. Really pretty. Pendant 4910. Oh. Yep, and then we've got yeah, the little the earrings. earrings. I forgot, yes, because <laughs> to be honest, um, there was no way I could match up two pieces for earrings. Yeah. Like, it, I tried, it was not possible, so I made an all silver earring. Earring 4912. Yeah. Oh, this one. <gasps> okay, this one is very, probably the most expensive. Expensive. Well, no, I did one with Tanzanite after that. Um, this is the most expensive cut I've ever done. And the size, I could have probably gone smaller, but I, 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 wanted, I wanted to go all out into something that was so beyond spectacular and irreplaceable. Like, gosh, yeah, that's it's special. Like amethyst, that's what I really try to bring. Is, is that just like, uh, so even with the bracelet, like you see all the work that's on the bracelet, it, it is just a piece of art. And this is bracelet 3862. It's a six and three quarters, fitting from a six and a half to a seven and a quarter. Mm -hmm. And then, um, of course, I did matching coordinating pieces, had to. Ring 3860. And pendant three eight five nine. Okay. Oh, whoops. And then earring three eight five nine. So it's almost like the shades of the colors were like these lined up and these lined up. Because what I did was, um, on these pieces, they did change quite a bit. Like, from one time we made it to the next time we made it. Mm -hmm. And when you do this kind of fancy cutting, it's hard. So I went darker. I remember I went darker than on the amethyst um, accents. So still beautiful combined together. But I think about that. I'm like, the ladies have the bracelet super dark. Okay, then I need to change the color of the pendant with the multi-stone. Oh, whoops. Sorry. <laughs> okay. So, oh my gosh. Okay. So, you know, this is my, one of my anchor collections that I've done. Now, this one is very, very old. I, I, like, I designed this one so, so long ago. And then I've done different variations since then. Um, but the original one I did was the Janelle Adair. And that was probably close to 30 years ago. So this was my original renewed faith necklace. Four four seven six is an eighteen inch with four inches of extension. Do you see all those pieces? How they connect? And all of that. Like, look at every piece. And I do this in frangipani and chain link and the Janela Dare because it was one of the ones that again, like once I finally finally got all the pieces worked out. 
again, something that I can't really duplicate, that would be, yeah. And you know, I love trying to put those four digit type pieces together, but not sell it for four digits. Bracelet 4477 is a size six. We've got this fitting from a six to a seven and three quarters. And remember, I've got this in chain link. I do it with stones. It is one of my anchor like lines that I that I do. Ladies, you're not gonna get better. Like the couture quality styling on this is I love the bracelet. And matching earring four four seven nine. Okay. <gasps> I know this is a fun one. Okay, and this is the one where uh, it's so funny. It just got the, the, he's not going to do the gemstones anymore. Then in the black spinel, he's not going to do the black spinel anymore. <laughs> um, anyway, I love pushing the boundaries of cutters of my artisans of, and this was spectacular. And this was done in the zero, uh, mer uh, no, zero Mercury, I believe. Was uh, zero it? Saturn. <gasps> what? Okay, because you know what? This almost looks more of a zero Mercury. Right? She, oh no, there's the pink. Okay. A, well. It's because it's it, got so many flat surfaces. No, it you're gives actually getting both best of both worlds. Because yeah. look at there's the zero mercury, more of the yellows, right, and the oranges, but with zero Saturn, you get more of the pinks, right, and the blues and the green. So interesting. That one almost fooled me. But again, it's because of the different cuts that you're going to get. Look at that. Look at that. This is ring two six zero seven. It's so eye catching that stone. Yeah, it's like, and this one is almost impossible with it. Like, it, it, it's not going to come perfectly Shaped. perfect. I mean, it just is what it is, okay? This is bracelet 2605. It's a seven and a quarter, fitting from a six to a seven. Hmm. Oh, this is a locket. Uh oh, did I just lose that to the bracelet? Yeah, this is a locket. Look at this. Pendant 2606. Oh, oh I love how it turns on the bike. Isn't that cool? How yeah. like, see where it goes from? Um, oh, so pretty, so pretty. I love that. Look at the colors, right? Every color of the rainbow. Mm -hmm. Wow. It, I love that it's zero Saturn, zero Mercury, because it does... It just depends on the way the light hits it. But literally, the mystics really were formed and created from astronaut type mm -hmm. technology. That's why I'm like, I love, like, you know, mixing the gems with all these kind of chemistry type things to have something so different. So to me, it was very cool. Okay. Earrings. That was insane that we made earrings. Are you kidding me? Earrings. So of two course six put... zero eight. Oh my gosh. See, you can see the gallery in there. See if you see him, you can see the back of the gallery. See on this one, the love oh, of yeah. Christ, the heart. See how I did the heart. Oh wow. Because right, that that he loved us so much. So it's that great love. Okay. Here we go. Okay, so, oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm gonna laugh at this one because this one was about ready to drive the design team crazy because what happened is it's so cool, like with the cutouts, mm -hmm. so they were cut out. However, it didn't always work. So the ring, once we did the ring, it looked horrible. So what I did is in Bali, I backed it with white mother of pearl. So the ring, oh, so we actually true. changed it because it did not look good mm -hmm. in the gallery. It was like, oh, and so I, I ended up holding up production. Look at the fringe panties that are on it. The bezel is just, anyway, uh, another collection I just took forever on. So you will get the ring. Okay. Was, I thought there was two pieces, whichever. No, just the one. 
only the ring I backed the mother of pearl up in it. Then I left them open because they were really cool on the bracelet. Like it was really, it looked really good, but the ring mm -mm, didn't work. See? I love that you take the care on each individual piece in the collection to make sure they're all perfect. Yeah, we're, I, well, you can see the other day it threw me off having lint. Like so, <laughs> sometimes it drives people crazy. But I'm not always like that because I do understand, okay, you know, it, it, if I'm wearing on other people because of it, mm -mm, no. But if it's something I can change like in my team, here's the thing, in both places, they, they love what they do, and it's like a joy for them to go, oh, there's this, this. Yeah. Sometimes it can be almost like, you know, like I said, we get cut off from our stone vendors sometimes, though, because they're like, you know, realistically. <laughs> um, but yeah, everything on this one is just, again, really beautiful. Whether she could ever cut us the stone again in this, I don't know. But this is the golden... Uh, See, with the color, this is the actual golden. The yellow Celsius. Um, mm -hmm. Yellow Celsius. And so, that was a bracelet for 888. Material. That was a seven inch fitting a six to an eight. Pendant yeah. 4889. Ring 4890. And earring 4891. Okay, this is a great rustic frangipani bracelet. Uh oh. Ladies, we don't, we need, uh, we need one of these. Uh oh, we need this bracelet. It's a good one. Bracelet uh, four two six seven. Could you please like this one? I can't even tell you how many designs I do with rings. And recently, I don't. I forgot about this one. This is because it almost looks like the cushion rectangle, but mm -hmm. it's in that oval shape. This is that. This took forever. Yes, I might have to make more sizes in this, ladies. Man, I love this size. What size is this? Uh, six seven five. This is bracelet four yeah. two six wow. seven, and that'll fit from a five and three quarters to a six and three quarters. Okay, ladies, help the fringe of panty ladies out that were looking for a little bit uh, more petite one. This one is the one, and um, I have the love one another. I probably wear it with it, but this one I love because I incorporated the leaves during this period mm -hmm. that you see on a lot of my pieces. So this bracelet would be really really great. Bracelet four two six seven and that seven seven five will fit a six and three quarters <coughs> to a seven and three quarters and then oh. hoop earring four two six eight. Well, and you know what? These are the ones that uh, Amber laid. This is her favorite style. She's got in every gemstone I do, but this is the rustic fringe of panties back to front. Yeah, and it's um, it is a very popular hoop uh, because it's lightweight. It has really beautiful structure on the inside, see? So it's really like just got a very high-end style to it, but then you've got the beautiful rustic fringe of panties too. Um, okay, oh, this necklace. This is a good one. Oh my gosh, who has this, ladies? Uh, this one is so, who, who ended up getting this one? Because it is, uh, this is a work of art to get this just right. Oh my gosh, it's like the double necklace because everybody's layering the necklaces. It's mm -hmm. in one. Yeah. Prayer changes things. Doesn't it? Oh my gosh. What is that name? Right. And this is bracelet 5078. It's a seven and a half, fitting from a five and a half to a seven and a half. Oh my goodness. This is mad. This is really low profile. Oh my gosh. Wow, that is a great fit. Wow. But and look at the beadwork on this one. Yeah, that's but great. these are the ones, the Janelle Adair, um, the reason I call it the Janelle Adair and then when I say this is tree of life filigree granulation, I make very, very thick wire on these with bigger beads and we do massive high polishing mm -hmm. to where this is not gonna snake. Like, oh, I love that. So, the reason with behind the Janelle Adair ladies, it is the most expensive motif that we do. Like the most labor, everything behind it, mm -hmm. but the most luxury. And yeah. that's why I get excited because that would be so much more out in the real world. And it's my like logo, my little ID thing. So I get to bring that at a great price though, right? Like I really, really, um, 
try to always make the, these luxury type pieces really affordable. Necklace 5077 is an 18 inch with four inches of extension. And what, what's the one on this one? Um, 18 with four. Oh, see, I do like this shorter. Yeah, I probably do it. But you've got the extenders, right? Yep. Yep, that way you've got, you can wear it with that perfect neckline. Yeah, this is great. And then we've got the matching earrings and oh, ring whoopsie. available too. Oh, yeah. Yep. I think that I, what I did is I recognized that because it, I, w I wanted to do something like that. And I said, we did this just right. And I was telling Kadek to send me my uh, necklaces like this. Mm -hmm. So she was actually double layer. Yeah, because I'm kind of playing around with some other pieces with that right now. Earring 5080. Same really high quality piece. And look at this one inset in here. Wow. Ring 5079. Mm. You know, that's that really fabulous shape. Like, yeah, that's a great ring. Always. Very cool. Ah, <gasps> this is, okay. This is the one that is actually, oh my gosh. Okay, so this is where we got a lot of feedback on this. Ooh, this would be interesting because, um, this was always the color change at Alexandrite. And someone made us change it to the created sapphire. So it, we, it used to be the lab created mm -hmm. Alexandrite because in different, it would change with the different lighting. Oh. So um, the quality is beyond, beyond. This is a bracelet. 4981, it's a 675, fitting a 6 to a 675. And then we've got matching ring 4980. Wow, my gosh, so pretty. Okay, so it's kind of like the magenta sapphire, right? Is it purple? No. Is it pink? I know the difference between the two amethysts we've seen purple? today. Like it's this color, it, it just, it basically, it's money. <laughs> like, it is just that color that's like, sorry, you are a little gem that is a lot of money. And literally, I made it, I kind of too big because he was so expensive. And people think, oh, lab created, uh-uh. The chunky uh, facets it, in there just make the light bounce yeah. off. But the lab created is, doesn't mean it's inexpensive. And this was probably like definitely the most expensive material. <laughs> like more than amethyst. And that Way was pendant 4979. Okay. Um, and then can we see the fit on this bracelet oh, one yeah. more time? Oh, oh, okay, maybe did I not try that one on? To, let's see if it's right. Because I'm a six. Bracelet four, so eight, eight, eight. It definitely eight. Is, starts at a six for sure. Six to eight is what we've got. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. Thank oh, you. Oh, she wants to see it more though. And remember, these are double sided, so they're really, really, really soft. They, and I think because these come up so high and these are double sided, where it measures where we have to say it, it's the size threw people off. Mm -hmm. But remember, the way you measure a size does not mean it's the, it's fit. the same fit. And that's where we will uh, make sure it's right for you. Yep. Uh, they did ask to try this guy on. Oh, the purple. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. I did him in an all black spinel too that I gave to every single one of my girlfriends. Oh, that'd be so elegant in black. Whoops. Can't see. There we go. Hook that in there. Okay. And this is a 675 fitting a 6 to a 675. And this is the double cable, okay? And this is where we take our twisted and then see, like, the wire work on this, the yeah. cable, to make the cable is crazy. Yeah. Okay. It looks like we have two and a half more trays. Yeah. Okay. Oh my gosh. Look at this. 
the pink calcite. I love the pink calcite. It's always so interesting to look at. Bracelet 6954 is a 675, fitting a 575 to a 775. Remember that chain gets silkier and silkier as you wear it. Oh, say it, give me the size because I just... Uh, it's fitting a 575 to a 775. that's got black spinel accents. Yeah, that's a nice bracelet. Okay. Ring 6956. Gorge, gorge, gorge. And pendant 6955. Oh my gosh. Very nice. Okay, I just realized what was going on with that one. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, this was one I can't do anymore. I, this was, this is so beautiful. So, is this the Blue Jay Jazz? Yes. <gasps> oh my gosh. This was always the most expensive that I was able to do in the, the purple rounds. The colors you get off that are so fun. Oh my gosh. That is locket ring 3290 and pendant 3291. Jessica, Jessica, one more try. One more try. Blue <laughs> Jay Jazz, Jessica. Okay, this was the locket and the locket ring at the same time. How Look fun. at that. How's, how's like spies? You like, I'm a spy. <laughs> There, back over here. <laughs> Isn't that funny? Oh my gosh. Like, nope. What? I didn't do anything. <laughs> oh, this is so pretty. So pretty. The bracelet, I actually did the bracelet with the locket too. Um, of course, we don't have a bracelet here, but um, I did do the bracelet in the locket. Okay, this is another gorgeous, gorgeous stone, but very, like, I, I couldn't help it when I bought the rough. I had to do a collection in it, but look at how it all intermixes, but is different. So like, I really tried hard when I did this to bring in the different colors where it would still work, right? So let's start with the pendant. Pendant 5038. And then see, look at, see how I brought in, you know, the different elements. Ring 5039. And so you see that kind of going with that. And then you see, but this is why opaque stone is so hard to work with because how do you do that when you get into those? So I match all this up myself, like to, to make this all mesh and work. And then look at this. Okay. Like, you know, I mean, what? Every stone is it's unique. It's literally, you took a slab and I literally made, you know, mm -hmm. some. Little pieces. This is where now we're really, like I, I try not to do ones like this, but when I see those kind of colors coming in, like sometimes I just can't help myself. Like I love doing puzzles. Ooh, can I jump ahead? Yeah, go for it. Oh my gosh, I have to bring this in because I feel like, oh my gosh, this would be an outfit and you'd have to do this on your denim oh, yeah. jacket. Oh my gosh. Okay, Sorry. let me cover the rest of the uh, numbers here for that uh, Jasper set. The bracelet is bracelet number 5037. That's a 675, fitting a 5.5 to an 8. And then we've got uh, Butterfly Jasper Pendant 5219. That pendant is just beautiful. Where did I do that for? Like... Just the, the pin thing alone, I think this $129. is... $129.99. It's a museum These piece, wings sure. are like so expensive per piece. Because see, they're two different wings. Mm -hmm. Wow. Wow, ladies. I hope you know, like, this is the best way I can treat you is like doing stuff that's really crazy like this. But I know that at the end of the year, my bookkeeper's going to be like, 
<laughs> doing things like this, you know. And then matching earring for that set is earring 5040. But, oh my gosh. Oh, this bracelet. Oh, this is such a great fit. <gasps> oh, wow. Bracelet 5037, fitting a five and a half to an eight. Oh my gosh. Okay. But of course, all my galleries, like everything is going to be fabulous. Okay, so I did jump ahead to that one, but this one, oh my gosh. Okay, this is a, this is real uh, 18 karat gold that we've actually put over. It's not a vermeil when they, like, this is the stuff, yeah, we, we, we did a long, long time ago, okay? And that's the only reason. Um, but, man, this the quality of this bracelet... This is the bold and noble set. Bracelet 2572 is a seven and a quarter. It's a seven and a quarter. Fitting a six to a seven. I need I need another size in this. Oh my gosh. Can you start this? This yep. bracelet is beyond phenomenal. Are you kidding? And then matching pendant, 2573. You know, this this I designed my my Janelle Adair diamond ring for, with this. This is what I, oh. it was part of the whole series. That, okay. So I did some in gold, I did the diamond, and I did the uh, gemstone. Mm -hmm. Like I designed all that together. And it's my, some of my favorite, and I lost this bracelet. See, because you see how beautiful the quality. Wow, so good ladies. Hard for me to do those. Um, oh, okay, let's get back into some amethyst. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Okay. So, you know what? I'm bringing the peacock in here too. Yeah, may as well. Um, you know what I did is I designed this peacock one to go back to the big peacock pendant. So, I needed a bracelet. So, um, I have a whole si silver series I did with this. And then I have another peacock where I did these gemstones in the, the flute oh, of this, this tail. Feathers. So I kind of played this bracelet off doing both. That's why it's a standalone. Cause I literally took two of my designs that I did because the ladies kept asking for a bracelet. Ring 4894. I actually did another bracelet. Is this African amethyst? Uh, it does not say. Wow, the color is phenomenal. Yeah, the amethysts we've seen today have been top notch. I know. Bracelet just... 4892 is a seven and a half fitting from a six to an eight and a quarter. Back then, like a lot of the amethysts I was using, Brazilian, because um, I use such high quality Brazilian, Brazilian African can really be the same costing. It's just getting African um, come super, super heavily included. Um, and the larger pieces are almost like, you know, unheard of to, to get. Now this is a magnet enhancer too. Pendant 4893. Oh, the beaver. You remember that all silver necklace I just did? I really like that link you've got on there in right. the center. It's nice. It's like, yeah, that piece is so pretty together. I love this little ring. Yeah. This is a really comfy ring. I love this ring. Um, only because this, this work right here, that's a lot of work right there. Catherine Ferris says she has the big peacock <coughs> pendant with the stones you were oh talking about. Oh my gosh, about. okay, yes. So that's what I did. I designed, and this was kind of one of those ones. So when I snuck this other peacock into all silver, I was like, and um, actually, I did an all silver peacock bracelet too. That is, I'm having uh, Bali just make a couple because I've had some of the peacock stuff that I've shown. Mm -hmm. So there's just going to be a few that we're going to bring in. But yeah. There you go. And this Perfect is job. bracelet 5923. It's a six and three quarters, fitting a five and a half to a seven and a half. Mm -hmm. Yeah, gets a lot of people. Oh, I love this. Wait, see, we're on a purple. We're in a purple phase here. Yep. Okay, very contemporary classic for my purple girl. Um, it was really hard for me to get purple, and it's hard to get purple stones. So this is the talkative which is a topaz, okay? And this is going to be the same color as the I have this listed as purple ivy. Okay, purple ivy is chatty. Okay, good mm -hmm. to know. So these uh, talkative and purple ivy, same. Same color, place, same everything. Great. 
But no, I love that, that you said that. So ladies, um, if you're seeing any of those, just know it's um, same. It's just where we get the different, uh, the cutting from. So we know how it hues, but they hue the same. Mm -hmm. Well, we had two of the best that cut a lot of our, uh, so they can, they're pretty spot on. It's kind of like us, like we have, um, say like in Indonesia, we have um, our people that do things mm -hmm. and they live and work together in India, the, the same kind of thing. Yeah. So they seem to have the same kind of standards or like mm -hmm. talent. It's just kind of funny. And this oh, is out. pendant 4866 and then earring 4867. Bracelet 4864 is a seven and a quarter, fitting a five and a half to an eight. Fabulous quality. Okay, this bracelet, oh my gosh. Ladies, do we need this bracelet? And like, what about the Bali Sunrise? Oh my gosh, would that be like such a, the Ardent? Yeah. Oh my gosh. I'm squeaking over here. <laughs> Alrighty. Moving on to some citrines. Okay. Oh my good. Oh, jeez. That is. Oh my gosh. <gasps> that looks like Madeira. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm gonna bring. Oh, whoopsie. Look what I did. Um. Oh my gosh, ladies. This is so funny because we, like, we have two of these necklaces left. Right? We have two that we have left. You know this necklace. But I got the bracelet. Oh my gosh. I got the bracelet. Okay, and you know what's cool about the bracelet? Is that literally, okay, um, see where you see that little area there? So press in and then pull. But this one, I did the same thing, okay, on that. Now, I did have to put the stamp though onto that but it's gonna be under your wrist. So you can still wear this reversible, right? This way. I love that. Or this way. Bracelet 4548 is a seven, fitting a six to a seven. A six to a seven? Mm -hmm. See, so cheat like that. So you just put your finger in between those. Oh, and see? Like, see, I actually put it upside down, right? So it's okay, right? Yeah. Nobody's gonna really see that. Oh, did I just actually? Hold on. I might have turned that around when I let me make sure. Press and pull. Am I there we go? Okay, did I line that up? Oh no, it was. Okay, I just didn't have it on right. Okay, that was weird. So I didn't have it on right. turned it the other way <laughs> but yeah really cool huh yep so now you got a bracelet ladies to go with it um so if you had your one piece to fill in and we do have the rings to go with this too with that so we do have a couple of those on oh it's here okay mickey can you please drop in because we have other sizes in this ring so we do have it but it's not the style number mickey i need you to drop the right one in there for the ladies this is ring four five four nine, and then we've got matching necklace four five four seven. That necklace was a thirty six inch with four inches of extension. Yeah, I love this little ring. Love it. Okay, let's go into this one because this one was um, literally can be worn with that one still, you know, because it's got see it's got the fringe of panties. Mm -hmm. Uh, but it's really, really low profile too. And it's just one of those great little bracelets I designed. That's super low profile, really comfortable, and it fits just about everybody. And this is bracelet 2922. It's a seven and a quarter fitting from a five and a half to an eight and a quarter. See, isn't that a great little bracelet, right? Yeah. Once again, so each little pieces are curved, so it'll just curve around you just perfectly. A great little piece. Okay, we said we got citrine. 
Oh my. I know the color on some of these citrines is outrageous. This one. Holy cow. This golden is beyond. Look at that. Man, I want to get in there. Right. This is bracelet 6648. It's a seven and a quarter, oh fitting a six and a half to a seven and a half. Oh, it's a seven and a quarter. Mm -hmm. We didn't pull bracelets tonight at seven and a quarter. Okay, we need this like in a six, six and a half, six, seven, five, seven, seven and a quarter. Actually, just probably going, you know, there's no way we'll get that. <laughs> I, I did. No, I did have the citron. But ladies, you saw the price increase, right? Yeah, the price on citron this large now with the, that color saturation. There is a shortage of citron. Who would have thought? And it, of course, it's... Ring 6650. It's super popular now, too. And you know what? Me and Kadab were talking the other night. We were laughing because I'm like, citron paired out, like... Citrine Peridot Amethyst, Parmelian. so interesting I how it's on 10 fire. years ago people would have been like, what? Nobody would want it. I, she said, what? What? She, because 30 years, yeah. we could never, nobody wanted Citrine, were, nobody yeah. wanted Peridot. So I said, I know, I could have. but I said, and so you know, she didn't even realize because, you know, I buy all the stones, mm -hmm. she didn't, you know, like, and runs it over, she has no idea. I said, Kadet, this is how much it is. She went, what? And then she went, to <laughs> Damali. Do you know how much citrine and peridot? Because it's like, yeah, seriously. It's, if you even, it was so inexpensive. Yeah. Cents. Yeah. It used to be cents. Now it's multi double digits uh, per carat for the, the, yeah. But she couldn't believe it because, yeah, she gets everything, but she has not you know, like, that's one thing we handle in the office here is, Processing all the gemstones, so she had no idea she was that way. Oh gosh, I said, "Well, I told you those. Remember, that's why we always say with um, careful, careful. Like we take different ones that go out and who gets them, and you know, mm -hmm. sorry, but sometimes a couple of the guys do not get certain kinds of stones because <laughs> they, 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 they don't treat them right. Too fast Vaseline, and they break too many. Yep. So it's like. That was that. earring 5117, ring 5116, and then bracelet 5115. That is a 675 fitting a six and a quarter to a seven and a half. I love this little style. It's just really sweet. And this is when I, I did a lot of my paperclip styling of bracelets that I did on it. But everybody's got paperclip. Like, I'm always way ahead of my time. And then the yeah. trend comes. Like, that's just, it's like, yeah, okay my version of things okay so here we go mm -hmm. oh okay wow wait a minute that looks like the golden citrine oh these were two different okay so sometimes ladies when i do my samples so let me show you the different colors um, this is when I was first getting the Madeira, so here is the range of colors. So I'm going to make sure I can pull all these up. So this was the Madeira, and this, you'll have different colors, so I want to show you. Oh, yeah. You'll see a range, right? Shade. This is the deepest Madeira, then it went here, then it went here. This was, so sometimes when we negotiate, this is the range that they sent, Okay. And that's how we start to go, okay, what, what is the color? So, okay, so this is the lightest. This was the next color. Do you see? Mm -hmm. Then it went this one. And then it went this one. So it literally it's an ombre of all the different Madeira shades that when, when we cut stones, that we will get. Mm -hmm. From golden to yeah. like a red orange. So, um, and I think actually, I think I did this one. I ended up running it in red, I believe. Okay. So I ended up with this, and then I found the red and went, oh my gosh, and they get that. Mm -hmm. I, I, I do believe, but gorgeous, gorgeous pieces, though. really gorgeous pieces. Um, these kind of colors are just rich and yummy and 
Bracelet five, two, two, two is a seven, fitting a six to a seven. Ooh, I love that. Actually, this would be, um, yeah, so this was, of course, the most expensive one. You can see with the cutting too. Wow. Really pretty. So yeah, sometimes on those samples, it'll be like, of course, I always pick the most expensive usually, just so you know. <gasps> you know, this was my little acre ring that I ran in a lot of different gemstones, and I just love, will you, will you start this? Mm -hmm. I, this ring is, my artisans are so beautiful at, see my S swirl that was my signature forever? It's, it's one of those rings, ladies, that is so pretty on. It didn't matter what gemstone that I put in this. It was just, it was fabulous. And I didn't do a lot of thick, thick galleries at the time. See, it was just very simple, but very comfy. And, you know, these are the ones that originally, like I always wanted to do. They're in, I do these in Tanzanite. And this is ring 5144 four, and earring 5146. So I originally did them in citrine. And then when I brought them back, I'm like, I always wanted to do them in tanzanite. So I made tanzanite for you. That's a good. And then we've got the matching bracelet too. <coughs> Excuse me. Bracelet 5145 five is a 675, fitting a 6 to a 7. This is a great bracelet. Wow. What size is this? This looks like a size that I want. A 675. This is a great little shape. Okay. <coughs> we make this in the Janelle Adair like this. Can you start this one? I think I think I'm gonna do a series of expensive gems in this one. Oh, Can you put good. expensive gems? Mm -hmm. Um, because this is just that really great size. It's the old school right with the high polish that I always did. Yeah, I think this will be a great little basic and then we can wear our thick bangles with them. Yeah. I think, I, I feel like I'm missing that again. You know, I went kind of big and bold again for a while, but I can't forget about the little accent ones. And also too, some of the stones we cannot afford, like how and some big of the sizes, gems I'm yeah. getting into. Mm -mm. <gasps> I love this ring. This is a good one. This is a salmon pink opal ring 5233. Oh my gosh, you know what? I love to do a fancy rainbow moonstone in this. You know why? Everybody does ovals. Mm -hmm. And it's a cap. But if I did a fancy shape in this, like it would cost a lot more money, but nobody could like, It'd be so do interesting it. and special, It'd yeah. Be, okay. So I love that. Oh I love this little bracelet too. This is a really sweet little bracelet. Bracelet five nine five seven is a six seven five fitting a five and a half to an eight. Elzerin opal, and is this the salmon pink? Salmon pink, yep. Salmon pink, and then the Elzerin. That's the, oh my gosh. Remember, I got the um, all the opal in that in the star collection. And also, I'm bringing in a really cool, uh, actually, I'm bringing in a really cool long cushion kind of shape in this. This is going to go with everything I've been designing for you, though. Wow. Okay. Yeah, this is a, this is a good sweet, this is a sweet little set here. Yeah, it's a good sweet. Oh, okay. This is a this, fun one. I love the oh shade. Oh my gosh. Well, the color is like rose gold. Everybody went cuckoo. So this is wood. You see that? Do you see this striation? Mm -hmm. It is literally wood that was done in this. It like it looks like rose gold, but you see the the imprint of the grain. So anyway, the person couldn't do it again, but it was like. It's like the perfect neutral color. I had on a cream colored sweater yesterday and I was like, oh, this match is perfect. Oh, it's, it, it, yeah, everybody loved this. It was very limited. It was a pocket. Um, nobody could do it again, but it's, yeah, not so high end. Love that it. was earring 4996 and pendant 4995. <gasps> I'm grabbing these off the tray right away because, oh my gosh, these went with the other. <gasps> Yep, some citrine earrings, earring 5028. Oh, no. This, these are, this is a great little earring. This is like the rustic frangipani. Oh my gosh, I like these. Oh my gosh, the thickness and stuff. I mean, just the touch of it. This is, this is, uh, oh, these I are feel like a cushion with a checkerboard top always just like. And kind of levels things. it up. I, it, 
perfect stone brick. Yeah. It kind of needed, the quality of these definitely needed the Madeira in them. Yeah, for sure. It's so pretty. I agree. Okay. Oh my gosh. It, but, yeah, I remember during this time because uh, Smoky is Smoky, but I um, could not get Smoky picked up and I'm like, people want Smoky. Can I please run the Smoky? So this was my one, but you see where I didn't do a regular faceted seat, where I did my, my guy that did the micro faceting on the edges. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that I wanted, rich okay, espresso color. And extra facets on the inside. But and this was my one of my favorite rings. Like I, I loved this ring. Matter of fact, just recently I said, I'm sorry, but I need to bring this back in those fancies. In mm -hmm. this. This would be one I could run every delicious gem from yeah. um, lavender moon quartz, blue moon quartz, whiskey quartz, smoky quartz, like olive quartz. Like it would be perfect with all those stones. And this is ring Classic. 5121. Yeah, we need this ring again. Oh my gosh. Okay, so we also have sizes in this, but this was the original sample. Kind of cool. And look at that. Uh, Golden Celsius Pearl, like that, that, that is quality. Wow, look at that. It's a beautiful color. Ring 5047. And then Mickey, when you get a chance, will you drop the link to the rest of that suite yep. in the chat, please? Please do, because um, I don't, um, I'm not showing this for another two weeks. Do you see the pinks in there too, because mm -hmm. of the luminosity? So yeah, the whole uh, br the bracelet I did to this one. I see the bracelet, the ring, or beyond. Like you need the ring and the bracelet. So good. And then we got a request to try the opal on. Oh, did I not? I'm so sorry. And this is ring five two three three. And then if you've got any additional reshow requests, please let us know. Yeah, this is, see it's the rustic fringe penny and the filigree fringe penny, so it's like the best of both worlds. I can't pick a lane. I like doing both. And I think there's ladies that like different mm -hmm. ones, but in some, I like both, you know. Yeah. So, okay. Well, this has been a blast. And um, I got to tell you, ladies, I get so excited sharing this with you. And But the only thing is it makes me um, so sad that, like, somebody goes, I didn't get that one in time. I've been wanting this to go with it forever. So I am getting my other piece that I always left in Indonesia because when I travel back and forth I never stop designing I'm always creating and I like to have everything I've ever done so I know I don't duplicate or I go into a different look so um I'm yeah. getting another request oh yes, yes uh so they're saying the opal bracelet with the frangipani bracelet I'm not sure which one so if we could show them both that would be great So this is the one, see, with this. So this definitely, you could stack along this, right, Kenny? So cute together. And then, I don't know if you were asking about this one, but um, I did it with the roses, um, but you get the frangipani still too, with the watermark. So I'm not sure which one. But yes, yeah, some, some, I mean, you could just do a wrist full of these. Love it. Okay, what else we got? I think that was it. Okay, well ladies, we're gonna sign off and tomorrow we will see you at my place. I can't wait to show my little lotus. And she got me this really cool Christmas kind of flowers that I put fun. up above. Can't so I put those them. on my set too. So anyway, just really great. Like, look at what God has done and how he's brought people together. And right now, like, having somebody in my area, Tracy constantly prays for me. She is, like... I love that. I just... Your personal so, cheerleader. I'm so blessed to have, have her in my life. So anyway, ladies, um, blessings your way. And thank you so much um, for allowing me to design for you. Like, I just... Um, I, I'm just very grateful. So, blessings again.